Oh my goodness. <laughs> Welcome everyone to the Simon Says Stamp Stamp Timber release and review. Hopefully you're settled in. This is going to be a long video. It is a huge release. Probably I think their biggest one of the year, but then Stamp Timber is a month long party. Stay tuned, not just because of this release, but there's also like tons of releases throughout the month. There's going to be a ton of giveaways and all kinds, like all kinds of things. September is like the, the month of the year and stamp timber, huge. Every year it keeps getting better and better. So this release is, oh my goodness. Okay, let's, let's just start diving right into the goodies. Um, I think... This is the entire release. If it isn't, if there's anything not in here, I will have a link to the whole release as well um, in the description box below the video. But yeah, we have a couple of fabulous sets of um, printed paintables by Susie Plantamera. These are Flower Sentiments and It's Your Birthday. And if you're not familiar with these, um, Susie designs these and then Simon prints them onto Distress watercolor paper. So all you gotta do is grab and go and then you can color them. You can watercolor them, use your Distress inks, your Oxides. Some designers have used Copic markers on theirs, which I haven't done yet, but I've been intrigued by it. It's like, oh, that's really cool. So. Okay, so this is the flower sentiments one. And already I'm just like, ooh, I love her flower. I love them all, but the flower ones, I'm just like, oh, I have a thing for flowers. So they're just gorgeous. And these are the pre-cut, so they're four and a quarter by five and a half. So you can just paint them and stick them on a card and you're done. Or else there've been, I've done other videos where I'll trim them out, like I'll color it and then I'll actually cut, you know, fussy cut around these and then do a background or whatever and adhere them to a card. Like, you can do whatever you want. So we've got just uh, all these great florals. I just want to sit in color. Then another thing, like I said, you can just grab and go. What I like with these is you can just stick them, like stick them in a Ziploc bag, grab, you know, a little travel watercolor set or some markers or whatever, and then literally use these on the go. You know, when you're sitting, waiting for your kids or you're at an event or whatever. Yeah, love it, love it, okay. Okay, I can't spend too much time on each item because otherwise my video is gonna be insanely long. This is just, I'm so excited. Some of this is, I'm, this is literally my first time seeing like most of this. Okay, this is the It's Your Birthday pack. So we have Happy Belated Birthday. I need like a hundred of those. I always forget people's birthdays. So cute. Close your eyes and make a wish. Oh, fun. <laughs> Happy birthday to you with a llama. Uh, celebrate, it's your day. Ooh, I really like that one too. That's fun. Okay, look at all these. Oh, I like that one too. Really cute. These are all super cute. Love. So much fun. So much fun. Okay, got those. I'm already getting a sneak peek, of course. More picture book elements have been released. We've got a cupcake and a donut. I've already done a video using the ice cream cone, which I thought was super cute. And then I was like, yay, a cupcake and a donut. Look at the size of it. That's so fun. A little donut. We got the little cupcake. They're just, oh, love. And then, and then, I may have like done a little happy dance when I opened the package and saw what was in it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Look at this big picture book wafer dies and look at the size of them. Let me grab an A2 size card. All right. <clears throat> um, okay. A2 size card here. A2 size card. Big. Isn't that fun? So we have the picture book kitty. We have the fox. They're all just, these ones are all, yeah, typical picture book dies, all of which 
just to give you an idea of sizing, you know, on an 18 size card. I've had a lot of people say they really like when I do that in my videos, because it is true. It gives you kind of a better idea of sizing and whatnot. There's our French Bulldog. Isn't he cute? <laughs> love it, just love it. These, oh my gosh. We have the lion. I'm like ripping the packaging here, I love that. I also think these would look so cute because of the size of them. You could totally do these from like, you can do the little ones too from felt, but like these larger ones would look really, really cute. Die cut from like felt and then do, you know, a nice backyard art and frame them like for decor in kids' rooms and stuff. I'm thinking these would be so much fun for that. Okay, picture book Labrador. So yeah, and same with even just doing it from cardstock. His ears are separate. So you can build him up and then do his ears and layer it over top. So cute. Got him, and then last but not least, we have the big picture book hippo. So yeah, that makes such cute little decor, birthday cards, etc. Love, 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 love. So that one. And we have the big thank you wafer die, which is also such a nice size. Look at the size of that literally bigger than the two card it will go horizontally and take up center stage which I love love that love that oh so awesome so that one we have this really awesome sentiment labels wafer die set all different sizes so you get the nice pressure edges and they are all size to about five inches I would I think is the length of these yeah five inches and then just varying widths depending on like the type of sentiment and then you've got two awesome little like triangle notches so you can like die cut the little notch and tuck that in for your sentiments I think that would be really fun so we have that we have this <laughs> really awesome set by CZ Design, Kathy Zielski. She designs all kinds of, some of my favorite snarky sentiments are from Kathy Zielski. So now we have the Great Things stamp set. So yeah, good luck my sweet friend. Um, cheering like crazy for you, here you go. Um, so happy for you, G is for good luck, go get him. <laughs> this one, don't stop believing, hold on to that feeling. <laughs> Don't ask me to sing. Voice is horrible. Anyway, yeah, good luck, great things, um, and G is for go you. Love it. There's a coordinating, there's the coordinating wafer die set, so this will cut out the stamped um, sentiments and the cute little like shamrocks and whatnot. So it'll cut everything out with a bit of a border, which I always love. So there's the coordinating die set, but there's also an individual Good luck die set. And again, Kathy Zielski's stuff is always super popular. I love them and I love the die sets of hers, always. They just go with everything. So yeah, you've got the word die and then the outline. So you can use either or, or you can you know stack them both together. And just a nice, perfect size to kind of coordinate with everything. So love, of course. Got that. Then we've got some Halloween. I'm so excited. <laughs> Anyone who knows me and knows my Halloween. Um, we've got the Boahaha stamp set. Love this. So we've got this awesome haunted house and like elements to create, you know, a scene. So you've got your fence and then an archway. Um, bats and stars and the moon and then yeah um, enjoy your treats eat, eat drink and be scary I love that boo sentiment how it's all dotted like that love that trick or treat smell my feet give me something good to eat and then oh, ha, ha. love 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 coordinating wafer die set which will cut out all of these all of the images I love that it will cut out the letters separately so it's not connected right in between them. Love that, love that element. Um, I love the house die, actually has little tiny die cuts, so it'll cut in between there, just to make it a little bit more seamless. So again, love that as well. 
So much fun. So much fun. I'm just so excited about this. Okay, so that is the Bohaha stamp set and coordinating dies. And then we have a sentiment, Halloween sentiment set. So this is hand lettered Halloween. So you've got Halloween, so happy Halloween. Love that. Almost, I'm almost 100% positive this is Christina Warner's handwriting, which I love. So yeah, so spooky, party, happy Halloween, oh what a night, trick or treat, fright night, hey pumpkin, and then like a little pumpkin, a little spider, a little bat. So really love that. And then same thing, there's a coordinating wafer die set to die cut all these sentiments. I love this. Love this. So yeah, it will die cut all of the stamped sentiments, all the smaller ones in this set. Just gives you that little extra something. Oh, and the big Halloween word is course. So yeah, all of these. Um, happy Halloween, the trick or treat, etc. Love, love. Just gives it a little extra something so you can pop it up with some dimension. So love. Oh, and because people always ask if I'll try to remember, but people ask like the sleeves that I store my stamps and the coordinating dies and whatnot. These are from Simon as well. I just I buy the packs because you get like 50 in a pack. All right. Halloween and then we go on to there is this adorable right meow stamp set I'm not sure if this one has a coordinating way for it. I kind of assume it does. I don't have it We'll just see so oh, these cute little cats <laughs> It's definitely sweater weather love so perfect. I heart you wish we were here wish you were here right meow sleepy kitty um, cats make everything better this is um, this is right meow, we are together, etc. So you can like build little sentiments. So yeah, this is so perfect. Right meow, we are so perfect together. Seriously, seriously. So got that one. Then we have this fabulous um, ornate ornaments. So pretty, so pretty. I just want to stamp and heat emboss and start watercoloring or just add shimmer. So yeah, um, hope. Joy, love, Christmas blessings. Yeah, wishing you hope, wishing you joy, wishing you love, Christmas blessings. A fun little string for the ornaments, etc. There is the coordinating wafer die set to die cut all of these. So yeah, and then it will even cut the hole in the middle so you could like add your own string to string it onto your, you know, card or whatever, scrap of page, etc really like that like and they're all a good size too you know so we've got that one it's just a really nice Christmas set oh I uh, Christmas can't believe Christmas is already like it's on its way okay so then we have this awesome festive trees really fun all these like fun we've got triangles this goes with a background stamp I'm gonna show circles hearts love love um and i love that there's the outline hearts and the tree shape and then the solid one you could stamp on the top like stamp and heat emboss it so we got seasons greetings wishing you and then a space love joy peace at christmas you have the trunks etc coordinating wafer die set to die cut all of these super fun so that one we have this awesome birthday set this is the birthday borders set so you've got a row of solid candles, a row of flames, and they're separate stamps, so you can stamp them, separate colors. You also have the outline version of it as well, which is really fun. So you could um, stamp a solid color and then stamp the outline, heat embossed over top, make it super simple. So yeah, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. I love how it's like added the little hearts, happy birthday to you. Um, you don't look a day over whatever age you were a few years ago. <laughs> Love that sentiment, that's perfect. Your birthday is becoming a serious fire hazard. Love that sentiment too. I'm not making any age-related jokes because I really feel bad about your age. Yep. Put another candle on your birthday cake because you're another year older today. This is such a fun set, I love it. Um, a little coordinating wafer die set with the row of candles, the individual one, and then the little trio of hearts there. It's just really cute, I love that. So we have that one. We have a couple of really good sentiment sets so this one is your greatest dreams and just a lot of really encouraging 
um, sentiments. Only you can give your dreams a fighting chance to come true. The greatest tragedy in life is not death, but a life lived without purpose. Um, if you can dream it, you can do it. When you forgive, you're giving yourself permission to feel good again. Um, whatever adversity you're facing, don't just sit there waiting for it to disappear. Walk toward it with confidence, determination, and a nice umbrella by your side. That is a really good one too. That's, that's a good one. Um, the world needs dreamers and the world needs doers, but above all, the world needs dreamers who do. Um, life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning to dance in the rain. That's one of my favorite ones as well. So such a good set. So that one. And then this one is the spiritual sentiments. So we've got, um, God knew my heart needed you. You are strong. Love never fails. Grateful. Um, created to create. Be strong, courageous. You are my village. Um, great is your faithfulness. Before I shaped you in the womb, I knew all about you. Our hearts need you. There's a thank you. I love you. And then like some nice little almost like greenery type images as well to just kind of like add to this. Like kind of word art. I like the mix of fonts and sentiments and whatnot. So you could really create something. Something that someone, you know you could put up on display. Just as a reminder. So we got those. We've got some fun fun bling so christmas coming these are perfect we've got some silver lining sequins and some stray stay gold sequins stray gold i wish i could find stray gold anyway bling so much bling there are those ones and then there is the birthday cake sequins and the party time sequins i like these color mixes these are fun aren't those fun so pretty Okay, got those. We've got some amazing background stamps. We have this absolutely gorgeous, this is Nature Mandala. There is so much detail in this, I can't even. I thought it was really pretty and then I actually stopped to look at it and it's like, oh, there's like shells and little mushrooms and leaves and flowers. Like this is really fun. Such a neat background. And all the science backgrounds are cling, Red rubber on cling, love it, love it. And yeah, like six by six roughly when they're shaped, obviously it's a little bit different on size. So here's another like six by six and this is the one that coordinates with that tree set. This is the plank background. I like this, I like geometric backgrounds like this. One, they work great with masculine cards. Two, it just, you can stamp them or stamp and heat emboss them and then it just depends on the colors you use. Like totally change the look of this. Like so many things. Or you could just stamp it tone on tone as just a neutral background to whatever you're creating. Like this would look gorgeous with florals. I'll get to floral. There's a great floral set too. So yeah, that is the plank background. Love. Then this one's really interesting. I'm very curious. I need to start playing with it. This is the center cut Christmas. And Simon has done a bunch of center cut um, backgrounds that are really, really fun. This one's slightly different. So we have the background stamp. And it's not just one center cut, there's two. So how fun is this? I'm just, I'm just curious to see how everyone designs with this. I love all the little icons. It's so cute. Just as is. This makes a cute background for a card. Really like that. There is a center, uh, Christmas icons wafer die set with a large circle and a large circle will fit this circle. And then there is a smaller circle which fits the smaller circle, but then there's also um, the Noel word, which I really like. And then there's like little icons to go with it too. So really just cute. I need to like sit and just play with it. And I'm just, I'm curious to see what everyone designs with it. So really different, kind of unique, fun, just fun. So we've got that one. Oh, and there's another sentiment set, which I have set out here because I was going to start filming like while I'm doing this video. Um, this is another great sentiment set. This is the tiny words sentiment set. And there's a ton of sentiments in here. This is going to be one that I'm probably never going to put away. I'll just keep on my desk because, you know, I like adding those little sentiment strips to everything. 
We've got hello there, missing you, thinking of you, you're in my heart. Um, wish you were here, forever grateful, with sympathy, wishing you peace, you're on my mind. Um, you are so kind, get well soon, to the happy couple, you're my hero, over the moon, you're fabulous, like you a lot. Um, sorry for your loss, I'm behind you 100%, I believe in you, you can do it. Um, best wishes, blessings, beautiful, so awesome, like a must-have kind of a set I really like and I just like that they're tiny so you can just stamp it heat emboss it with a super fine detail embossing powder trim it down add it to your card just yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay I squealed when I saw this one I was so excited I'm like yes spider web background goes with the Halloween sets always have to have I hate spiders I hate them I absolutely I'm, I'm literally terrified like I have like arachnophobia I freak out if it's a real one. Halloween, bring on the spider webs, bring on the cute little spiders, even the scary looking spiders on cards. I'm all for it. But anyway, yeah. Yeah. So got that. <laughs> I can't, I don't know what it is with the irony of me, like literally being petrified of spiders, but loving Halloween spiders. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm weird like that. So we got that. And then we've got a couple of really great um, stencils. This is the Harvest stencil. This is pretty. I love Simon's detail stencils. They're just, they're so pretty. Like I, I just want to scrape glur paste, embossing paste. I want to sponge color, you know, like the detail is just, oh, uh, this is a fun one. I can't wait to play with this one. It's so pretty. So that is the Harvest stencil, and then we have this really cool um, Mod Stripe stencil. How cool is this? Isn't this neat? Again, love the geometric look of this. Great for masculine cards, but also great for a very kind of what I call a neutral background. You know, there's no flowers or icons or anything. So you could do up like a whole bunch of backgrounds and just in different colors and then pull them on. It could be for any theme that you wanted, depending on the colors you used. Love it. This is just, I love this. This is really unique. I've never seen anything quite like this. I love this design. It's so fun. So that is the Mod Stripe stencil. Um, Simon's also released um, a metal cutting plate. So, and it does say like caution, sharp edges, always all metal plates. If you don't have one, I highly recommend one for your die cutting machine because you use it in between like the cutting plates. I never use a metal plate next to my dies, but I'll have like platform, the metal shim, cutting plate, die, cardstock, etc. cutting plate, run it through my machine. Um, this one, oh yeah. So yeah, and always just be careful. I've literally cut myself on my metal shims. It, you know, not paying attention instead of getting a paper cut, I've literally gotten a metal cut. It's the worst. So yes, be very careful. I've heard people um, taking tape and putting tape and folding it around to cover the edges. I might do that with mine. I should make a point of doing that just to help protect yourself. I think that's a good idea. So love, those always come in handy. Okay. Getting close to the end here, um, we have the Naughty and Nice Elves. This was actually part of a limited edition Christmas kit. Now the stamp set, you can get the stamp set and they have a coordinating wafer dies. Everybody was asking if they were gonna release that. So there is a coordinating die set that will die cut um, the elves and the banner. It's just a really cute set. Um, cookie dough, reindeer, gift, stuffing themselves with cookies, and a whole bunch of really great sentiments. We have not even nice, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, wishing you a very Merry Christmas. May your holiday be sweet. I made you cookies for Christmas, but I ended up having to buy you a gift instead. The cookies were delicious though. It's so cute. Uh, jolliest holly, holiday wishes. Wrapped with love for you, I made it by myself. <laughs> That'd be cute to go, come from the kids, you know. Ho, ho, uh oh, you're my favorite elf. Um, you are sweeter than Christmas cookies. Like, such a cute set. So we've got that, and then like I said, the coordinating wafer dies, which I love. Then we have, I'm gonna save my, one of my favorite sets for last. We 
It's really cute. <laughs> uh, hip ginger stamp set. And these are big ones. All these last ones are, these are big six by eight stamp sets, like big stamp sets. Okay, so we have, yeah, hipster, hip ginger. It's a hipster gingerbread man. I just shake my head and yet at the same time I love it. So you've got your, your body and then all these different little elements to like dress him up. <laughs> hipster gingerbread man, you are amazeballs. Um, stay weird. Let's have a hipster gingerbread man before it's cool. It's gingerbread vegan. <laughs> uh, I, I get a kick out of this set. I think it's a, just funny. So yeah, love it. You can give him a beard if you want or a mustache. Like, seriously. There's the coordinating wafer die set that will die cut all of these elements, which is, I with this, I almost consider it essential because it makes it easier to, like, layer, you know, everything. You can get my scarf. I... Oh, uh, I don't know where they come up with the ideas. These just make me laugh. I think this is so funny. What a, like, what a cute set. So we've got that one. Then we have this awesome, I was kind of excited when we saw this, birthday numbers stamp set. And again, six by eight, so it's huge. Like great big, large stitched numbers. And then you have like a cupcake, a gift, balloons, a little party hat. And then some sentiments, we've got let's party, um, happy birthday, let's celebrate, celebrating you for you, yay. And then little little elements, you got a couple little smiley faces you could add to the numbers or to the balloons. There's little stars, little confetti dots. Like, fun, so fun. Like this would be great for an anniversary set too. You know, however many years, etc. Like, I like that. I like this one a lot. And then last, but certainly not least, Anyone who knows me, again, and if you've been watching my videos, you know I kind of freaked out when I saw this set. This is the Beautiful Flowers 2 stamp set. Beautiful Flowers 1, I think, is one of the stamp sets that I've done the most videos on, because I just... Oh. So when this one showed up, I'm like, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, love it. Great big huge flower cluster, you know. It will cover your A2 card. Or you can do bigger cards with it, which just makes me happy because I know a lot of people do like making like, if you're in, I think is it Europe, you're an A7, I think is the size, like five by seven cards, etc. This works perfect. So you got the large flower cluster and then there's individual, these are themselves are large. I just to give an idea, you know, this alone could take center stage and then you've got um, an angel flower, you got some leaves, and then like a sentiment's just kind of sprinkled in here. There's hello friend, hi, um, thanks for always thinking of me, for everything you do for me, um, uh, big, so big thanks, uh, big love and hugs, sending, love and hugs, um, thanks to you and yours, etc. Um, hang in there, you mean the world to me, love. And there is a coordinating way for dice set being released at the same time. Great big, so you got a great big outline die for this and then all of the individual images so yeah holy this video is almost half an hour long already yeah i was right so like i said <laughs> if you're still watching big huge thank you to you um i really appreciate it like I said, I will link to everything individual. I will link to the release as a whole because I am not 100% certain as of filming this what all um, is being released. So if there's anything missing and then stay tuned. There's going to be a big um, like blog celebrations and there's giveaways and Simon's going to be doing live videos on their Facebook page and there's all of the collaboration sets that get released. Those are completely separate. If you've never been a part of Stamp Timber, welcome. It's exciting. I, it's always so fun and I just, I always just love it. You just get caught up in the excitement and it's just wonderful. Simon Says Stamp has just really outdone themselves by creating this awesome, fun extravaganza of everything. And I can't wait to see what all they have in store. So, Thank you. Thank you all who watch my videos and thumbs upping. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Beside the subscribe button, there's a little bell that you can click because if you aren't getting notifications, um, you can click the little bell and you can actually like choose um, when to get notified when I post new videos. I'm posting just about daily. Um, 
definitely check out. I have my Facebook page and my Instagram and my blog linked directly below because I'll be posting on there too throughout the month. I'm on there already. So, yeah. Okay. And literally my camera stopped filming. <laughs> so, I think that's a sign for me to wrap it all up. So again, just huge thanks to you guys. Check everything out if you are interested. Thank you all so much and stay tuned because there's tons of fun coming and I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.